I went to my first folk festival in 1965. I met Gordon Lightfoot, Ian and Sylvia, Leonard Cohen, Buffy St. Marie. I listened to all this music and it, I get evangelical about folk festivals because it changed my life. And sometimes, of course, it's a train wreck. Other times, it's so magical, it's so touching that one's only response is to stand by the side of the stage with a big grin on your face, weeping. What's changed with folk festivals? Beer tents. Vancouver Folk Festival lost money for years. It was so deep in the, in the financial hole that it was never going to be dug up. They never had beer on site. Oh, it would be terrible. It would be awful. There'd be drunken fights. So, oh, it would it was it was it would change the folky vibe. No, it doesn't. It's a hot summer afternoon. <laughs> beer and a hot summer afternoon work. So, they had a beer garden at the Vancouver Folk Festival. Within two years, the festival was in the black. There is a community of people who find themselves in a weekend listening to a lot of music that they probably never heard of. They wouldn't hear it on the radio. They won't discover it on YouTube, but there it is.